Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel on my second video. This video will be about RC tools and what you'll need to get started. The most important item in any RC shop would be hex drivers and nut drivers. These is what you use most of the time when working on your cars. Cars, they come with these L style wrenches and they, they aren't that, they don't work that well. They work, but not that great. So what I would recommend getting is either something like this, or it's a cheap set of hex drivers. This set is made by Traxxas and actually really cool. It has bits that go into this handle and this handle ratchets, and it also has all kinds of nut drivers. It's about $25 on A-Main right now. These are the hex drivers that I use, probably the best you could get. They're about $15 a wrench. The ones I have are a 1.5, a two, a two ball end, a 2.5, a 2.5 ball end, a three, a three ball end, a five and a half millimeter nut driver, and a seven millimeter nut Those driver. Those MIP hex drivers are pretty overkill. I would recommend getting something like this when you're first starting out. This has no ball ends, just 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3. 3 is kind of optional, because if you have bigger cars that use a 3, usually they don't for just 10 scale stuff. But this was about $15 at my local hobby shop. And what's cool is they have a set screw that holds the tip in. So you can put it in a drill with the chuck. But if you want to work on your cars a lot with a drill, get these power tool chips that have a quarter inch chuck. And then they slide in really nicely. Here's a closer look at them. They're made by Traxxas. And they don't come with this plastic thing. I just got that. I found it. So it has all four sizes, no ball ends, because if you're using a ball end in a drill, it's probably going to strip out a screw. So these are the ones I use, Traxxas, they're about $40 on A-Main. Let's talk about drills more. The one I use the most is this one right here, because it has a quarter inch chuck and it has a torque setting. You always want to make sure when you're using a drill for RC, that's, a, that's at the lowest torque setting possible. And you never finish it with this you do it in almost all the way and then you go back and tighten it with a hex driver this one's a regular drill it has a chuck and this one also has a torque setting so it's nice for those bits that have a set screw here's something i would not recommend for rc at all an impact if you're working on fist scale models or something it might be nice but for most people it's not worth it it's gonna strip screws a lot. Next, we're gonna talk about pliers and cutters. Now, I'm kind of a big Nipex or Knipex fan. So these are the ones I use. Really, these are the ones I would recommend. A nice needle nose pair. And these are flush cutters. They, they cut super flush and nice. They're good for zip ties, so they don't have a little sharp edge on them. But sometimes I also use these. These have a cutter, some strippers. These are, these, this, was what I used to use before I got these ones. These ones I'll use for nuts if they're in a really hard place. I don't have a big nut driver in the way. Here's some snap ring pliers. These ones are for opening or spreading. These ones are for closing. Here's some cutting stuff or sharp things. These are Lexan body scissors and I have a straight one and a curved one for wheel wells. This is, if you're gonna paint a new body, you cut out, some bodies you have to cut it out. And now this tool is a body reamer tool. And if you have to, in a, if you're painting a body, you have to ream a hole to for, a, for the body mount. Here's an X-Acto knife or a, just a hobby knife. They make, uh, replaceable tips for this or blades so you don't have to worry about ruining it and this is one of the most used tools in my room or my shop some scissors if I get a new part I can just easily cut it open because see how long that is if I was to use Lexan scissors it works but they're not nearly as long Here's a little tip or something quick to mention. I use this tool stand from Duratrax. 
and on it, see how there's electrical tape? It looks really bad. Uh, with he with these nut drivers, when you would put it in before, it wouldn't go down far enough, so they would just flop everywhere. But now that it's higher up, it can go into both of them, and now they're more stable. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll answer them. But make sure to subscribe, and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos.